So here we go then, folks. Welcome back to the series with uh, with myself and Chelsea FC. It's time to round things up. It's time to hopefully win a few trophies, and it's time to do it in hopefully a little bit of style. Let's go. A bit of treble. Treble. Hello then, folks, and welcome back then. Here we go. Uh, you can see... The, the title is almost wrapped up, very, very nearly wrapped up. Our league campaign has been a huge success uh, since our last win that you saw then. It was the 2-1 win over Liverpool where we came from behind. Form has been really, really good. A uh, couple of wins against Ludogrets of all sides. Didn't even play a three at the back, Ludogrets. Um, and for some reason, we found it very, very difficult. Only an away goal saved us uh, and put us through. It was a Mason Mount penalty in the 66th minute. So again, not easy at all. Ludogrets gave us a real problem. Uh, we then soared past uh, AC Milan as well in the Europa League. And we've got a Europa League final. It's Atalanta to come a little bit later on. A team from Italy that terrified me a little bit because they're probably playing a three at the back system. Uh, I don't know if actually did, did Milan play a three at the back just to get over that. No, they didn't. Um, yeah, successful in that one. And 19th minute, Kurt Zuma goal sealed it. Uh, Ibra and, and Benekir, or ben Benesser, probably Benesser, um got the best, better of us late on. But yeah, an early Zuma goal. Zuma scores some big goals in big games. Milan dominated the game actually, but yeah, we got the win. So we'll take it all day, every day. And you can see the Premier League form has been exceptional. Uh, beat Leeds, beat Manchester United, beat Tottenham as well. Palace, Sheffield United beaten. Then we played Brighton. Any guesses what they were playing, viewers? It happened again. It happens every single time, it feels like. A three at the back system with those two wider players and more players front uh, it causes all sorts of problems Hatterboy got sent off as well uh, so he'll miss a game today um, Zuma again with the goal I mean it seems to happen every single time he plays the game it feels like um, yeah but Brighton somehow stopped us from doing what we wanted to do and I guess the credit goes to them for this one um, FA Cup semi-final win over Manchester United as well that was a really interesting game actually let's, let's quickly take a look at it um, I thought we'd lost it 92nd minute Brian Bolo got a goal for United and I thought oh no we've lost it in the final final moments um, turns out there was still a little bit of time left at the very end of the game and Timo Werner popped up Got the goal, and as I said, it's taken us to the FA Cup final against Liverpool. And that is where we start. So, yes, I'm aware we will have played Liverpool three times this season. I'll keep them brief. Um, I really want to talk about tactically how we'll approach each game, and then obviously talk about how we may have to change things mid-game. That's what we've done. We'll do it better. But we are a game away from the Premier League title. All we've got to do is get something against Newcastle. Goal difference suggests that it's nearly, nearly done. Um, but, yeah, we could win... A treble today, sort of, sort of a treble, Europa League treble. Um, yeah, Newcastle and Wolves, um, the Wolves game hopefully won't matter. But the Atalanta game, we'd love to finish the season off with another trophy as well. So I hope we can do all of those things right then. Uh, let's talk. We'll, we'll sort of summarise the season towards the end. Uh, but this game against Liverpool, it's an FA Cup game. There's a temptation to start as Pelicueta, you know, because he has been my cup goalkeeper. So I think with that in mind, as Pelicueta, we'll get the start and... Hmm, who else do you go with? We're going to miss Orsic today. We're going to miss Chilwell. We're going to miss Sitch. They're all not really fit to play. And Mason Mount is the big one. So the team that you can see selected there might just be the team to start. Although I'm more likely to go with Zuma over Tamori. Him and Silva have, have developed a really good partnership. I think Emerson over Aspilicueta at the back as well makes sense. And the rest of the sides, hmm, we could play Werner up front and we could play... Cho on the right. Again, we're playing a Liverpool side that are quite dangerous. I think, based on what happened in the last game you played against them, uh, we will do just that. Yeah, Cho's going to play ahead of Sammy Abraham. Werner's going to play up front. Havertz behind. Pulisic the other side as well. Um, ordinarily, if they were fitter to play this game, I mean, I, do I put him on the bench or not really? Uh, Orsic would have played today. So disappointing that he can't feature. Um, he's been, been a really good player in some of the cup games. Nine goals for him in not that many starts. It's really, really impressive, of course. We're missing Hatterwall today. One man we didn't mention right at the bottom there. And Golo Kante is also a little bit tired, hence the midfield. Combination of Jorginho and Kovacic. Right then. Kovacic, by the way, really good tackling. So can play the ball in a role really well. Uh, 14 tackling. We talked about him last episode. Absolutely sensational. Right. Let's kick things off, hopefully, with our first cup win. Uh, it is Liverpool. It is the FA Cup. Let's delve in. City won their game against Southampton, so they are taking it to the final day. Um, I just noticed we play Newcastle next, who probably still have to feel like... They're, well, actually, no, they're safe, aren't they? Yeah, they are safe. They've got a game in hand. Um, so West Brom, West Brom, Southampton, all down. Um, in terms of the Champions League places, Liverpool and Arsenal still fighting for those in the title. And again, it's not over yet. If we were to lose a couple of goals, it's not, it's not quite finished. We've had a really sensational year, and it just shows, really, just how good the City side are this season, season as well. They've pushed us really, really close. All right, what will Liverpool play? Um, their team changes quite a lot, I feel like, so let's take a look at it. I'm curious to see, of course, if Van Dijk starts. He's had a few fitness issues when we played him in the past. Um, well, the big, the big change is Firmino's not playing, and Origi is, which I think... 
Now, there's two ways of looking at it. Partially plays into our hands, partially a problem, because Origi's pace could cause more problems to someone like Thiago Silva. His movement could be dangerous. Um, Henderson, Thiago, Fabinho in the centre. They are pretty much full strength, Liverpool, aside from the Origi, Firmino move. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to be at our best. And what I might do, because I think they will do it, and this is quite nice really to sort of see the follow-up, um, I'm going to say the fans have been fantastic, which I'm hoping works a little bit, um, and then positively tell the press conference people, the press conference people, that it will go well, the journalists. I think they're not nice viewers. <laughs> right then, uh, so Kepper in goal, that's, that's the big move for us. Hopefully he pulls off a decent performance, and uh, yeah, Thiago Henderson, Fabinho in the centre. That's a good battle between Jorginho, Kovacic and Havertz, who's going to play just ahead. Uh, we're going to pause really, really early on. We're going to make the change that we talked about at uh, corners. We are not going to play our attacking corner from this side to the to the far post where Van Dijk might be. We are going to play it, if we just select the right person, to the near post. Uh, we could play it short, we could, we could try something there, but um, yeah, I think having... Good headers of the ball at the front post is probably more dangerous as the first highlight of the game will be for Liverpool and it's some not great goalkeeping after we talking about Kepo. Jordan Henderson gets it from a really good cross from Trent. Um, yeah, obviously not great. This is quite good though. I kind of like the fact we're behind. I like the fact we have to try and change it a little bit. Um, I've come into today's episode. I feel, I feel that's a goalkeeping error. So I can kind of... Just put that one over there. But um, yeah, coming into this game, obviously we could win a treble. It could go drastically wrong, viewers, as uh, Kovacic. We're missing Hatterball, man. Hatterball's been so key for me this season. He was a player that when I signed, I knew exactly what sort of right back I wanted. And he was that guy. That was really poor from us. But Jorginho did brilliantly to get it back. Now it's hudson Adoy. Tried to play the ball through. Couldn't quite get there. Pull a six on it now. Back to Jorginho. It was it was decent from us, but not, not decent enough as the goal kick, actually. will go Liverpool's way. And the form of Salah and Mane in games that we've played against them has been pretty hit and miss, I would say, as that ball runs all the way through to Kepa. So, again, restricting them is going to be crucial. We are rushing the ball out at a speed that is not optimal for the way that Liverpool are pressing right now. Um, we are going to have to do a few things to slow this down. Taking it off attacking will probably be the first thing. In fact, we can probably afford just to do that and probably drop our tempo down. Maybe even buy a couple, you know. I, d I don't know. I, d I feel like we're... Trying to play out the defence and we're doing it quite poorly. If we try and slow it down a little bit, take our time on the ball, it might not go so badly. They've actually given it away. Now, Werner in loads of space. You can see the man, can't you? Christian Pulisic. He's got to score. He's got to score. And he's not scored. Still 1-0. Again, we've slowed down the tempo a little bit. It's, it's, it's interesting, really, because you still want our boys to be breaking at speed. But defensively, I don't want us to be to slap dash with it as Mane has destroyed Reese James. Thiago's there and it's blocked on the line. Was it blocked by a Liverpool player? Was it blocked by us? Salah was offside. I think the shot on goal would have gone in if Salah didn't get in the way. Thiago to Origi. That is what a ball that is. And then Origi with one hell of a finish. That's what we said. We kind of talked about that. If Origi plays off Thiago Silva, it's frustrating because one, I wish I thought we could stop it. We maybe should have dropped the line a little bit deeper. And that might be something we still do. That is quite the ball. Origi with a lovely little chip as well. Thiago and Origi. We're 2-0 down. At right, the problem we've got right now is, and we didn't have this problem before, is that we have to react to a two-goal deficit, which makes things a little more difficult. I think we bring everyone a lot, lot closer together. I think we try and stifle Liverpool a little bit. You've seen it in real life, that Liverpool's ability when in tight spaces is not quite as good. Now, whether FM has a similar thing or not. I don't know. I'm just debating a few other bits and pieces. I think we want to be... Mm, I don't know. Okay, I was going to maybe be a little bit more expressive sort of in the deeper areas to try and get ourselves... Like, creatively, then, you get yourself out of trouble a little bit more. But I don't want to take that sort of risk. 2-0 down, on balanced. We are very much afraid of them right now. Origi on the edge of the box is having... Well, it's offside. That, having the game of his life. Virgil van Dijk with it. Never mind us doing that corner. We're never going to have a corner at this rate. We've had two, apparently, according to the match stats. That is far offside. So, I, a good decision. All right, I've changed it to work ball into box. Now, whether we will actually do that and control the game a little better, I don't know. Reese James is getting absolutely destroyed by Mane. Well, do you know what? Reese James, you've heard me because you've put in a great... See, now that does not... That's not indicative of what we're trying to do, really. Lumping it forward towards Werner... He's almost never going to work. Thiago to Trent Alexander-Arnold. I think I know what the move is, and, and I've wasted 
too much time doing it. We've got the ball again. We're just that we've done that about fourteen times now. We've got to st stop that happening completely. Play shorter. Don't pass into space. Two of the key things to work on, and I think distributing to the fullbacks probably make. In fact, do we just go long here? The problem is Van Dijk is so dominant that it's going to be problematic. I think we want to try and recycle it quickly and then get the ball up to those wider areas. Speaking of which, the one thing I was saying we probably need to change is getting these boys on support duties rather than playing them on attack duties because currently Trent and Robertson have got the freedom of the pitch to play with and we're just letting them go. So there's always an overlap for our fullbacks. Like we're saying Reese James is getting destroyed. He's also got no protection in front of him. So we've got to try and restrict that. This is going to be... Of all the games we've played against Liverpool, this is quite clearly the toughest, right? All right, patience here. That, that's going to be key. We do not want to. And obviously playing on support as well, they'll look for the ball a little bit more. I think he's played on by Robertson, by the way. And now all of a sudden, a little bit of patience to just lump it forward, finally get a goal. We're back in it. This was lovely football as well. Werner does brilliantly to stay on. I'll tell you what, I say, I say brilliantly to stay on. Robertson, arguably, is at fault there. But you, there's, there's, I don't know, I was gonna say, there's an argument to say... There's no argument to say. I was going to point out something Hudson Odoi did, but that's giving you far too much credit. You can see it again. He was clearly on side. Like, not a problem at all. Werner Times has run brilliantly. The Liverpool line all over the place, and it was a good finish. Salah free kick straight away. Bring it back down to earth as ah, Zuma does brilliantly to get it away. Liverpool are having a lot of the ball, a lot of free kicks. Zuma gets up brilliantly. But I think God, probably go to that, I feel like. Agrigi's given time to turn and play a pass back to Trent, and it's a brilliant ball from Fabinho. And the, blimey, we are getting ransacked, viewers. The FA Cup final is not to be our game. I've got, I've, let's be honest. I feel like we're doing all the right things. Like, it's interesting, isn't it, that we've, we've made our defensive line drop that much deeper and still Liverpool are finding space to get in behind. The problem, the problem we've got, again, it's similar to before, we've got two goals we need to score and that means you probably have to take risks, but you take risks against Liverpool, you are asking to be destroyed, especially in those wide areas. A goal now would be a good time to do it. Again, do not lump this ball forward. I am not in... I mean... <laughs> I don't know what else I can do. I'm tired of doing everything but that. I don't know if it's a lack of options. In fact, let's go back and watch. Was it a lack of options? Is that, is that why we're doing it? Because, to me, he shouldn't be doing it. Like, the ball is given to Reese James there. <laughs> that, 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 okay, never, sometimes football manager does weird things. Like, Give it to Cho. That, on that occasion, never mind. It happens. <sighs> frustration for you, sadness. As Salah now, forward again. They could score again if we're not careful. Kepa makes a save. I don't think he's to blame too much, really. The first goal, sure. The rest of it, I don't know. I don't think we can be too mad about it. As that is lumped up towards Pulisic. And I realise now that Chelsea are in trouble. Although Havertz, I mean, the, the run of Werner is brilliant. I mean, if we get another goal here, it would have been a little bit undeserved, you would say. But um, yeah, still creating at least a little bit. This final episode is definitely going to be an extravaganza as uh, Zuma, front post, won the header, just can get it on target. All right, I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. It's not a good performance generally from us. Like Our average ratings across the board are not impressive in the slightest. I think putting Werner on the right-hand side is probably the move. Chose not having a good game. hudson Doy has to come off. I think this is one of those games... Mm, probably for the craft of Bellotti, like you're looking for like the physicality of, of Tammy, a little bit more pace, or the uh, the creativity, the cultured sort of Italianness. I've decided to go with of Bellotti. It's probably the move. I, I would probably bring Mason Mount on at some stage, even though he, he's not fully fit. Um, again, work rate against a side like Liverpool so important. I'd be interested to know actually if if Mount's played in both the other games we've had against Liverpool, where we've been good against them. Half an hour to go. It's going to be a Liverpool corner. And Thiago swings it to Origi front post off the bar. The marking on Origi, they're not good. All right, half an hour to go. It's an FA Cup final. We may as well uh, make a switch. So Havertz is going to come off and we're going to bring on Mason Mount. Do you know what, actually? Because of the position we're in, we're going to put these two midfielders uh, further forward as well. Kovacic is going to change to a Mazala. Uh, deep line playmaker for Jorginho. We're going we're gonna to have to take a few risks, right? We're, we're losing. With that in mind, actually, we're going we're gonna to sort of revert back to what we started the game with because... Even if there's to score a few more goals, I think it's probably worth it at this stage to go to what we ordinarily play, just because it gives our best chance of maybe scoring goals. Mason Mount might be a big factor in that as well. So here we go, 25 minutes to go. We need something to happen. All right, and we've got a long throw. Is this the change of... Uh, no, it's not. You're looking at Salah. There's not really too many passes on other than that. 
fired forward towards him. Jorginho knocks it down. Trent is with him in support. And the Liverpool players are driving forward. Remember, this was our throwing. This has come from Salah's on it now to the... Oh, my word, he's in so much space. I thought he was going to score. Fabinho in acres. I don't know if there's much more I feel like I can do now. Origi, Mane, they're having a lot of chances. I fair to say they have turned up in this game. And uh, I feel a little bit like it doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's a little bit defeatist. But no, it's not being good. Again, we're not at full, full strength. I don't know how much that's impacting us or how much we can use that as an excuse. It's an FA Cup final, right? I'm still playing a pretty strong 11, regardless of who's a little bit tired as Kepa's ball towards Balotti. is not down to Pulisic. We need a goal now, probably 15 minutes to go. I'll tell you what, Origi has been excellent. A player that, as I said before, right, Liverpool... Don't play a style similar to ours. We've not played against Origi yet this season. They play with Firmino, who is a little bit more of a creator. And that arguably was playing into our hands because of the way our defensive players were set up. Werner, though, again, has got to score now. It's going to be... That's not the way you're going to do it. <laughs> that wasn't good. I think I can shout at them. I've done a few in this game. There's, there's only so many shouts I think we can do at this stage. Ten minutes to go. Throw another striker on. I feel like that's the only thing to do, right? Let's, uh, who do you take off for this? Let's take Thiago Silva off and just say your three versus our three at the back and push Tammy up alongside Bellotti and just see with eight minutes to go, can we rescue something? Okay, instruction-wise, we are we are now going more direct. We are now hoping for something. Well, it's going to have to happen now or they will... Okay, we've, we've tried to shoot fire it at our shortest player. Um, spoilers, viewers, he, he didn't win the header. Not really a spoiler if it's already happened. It's not a spoiler as well. Tammy, that's a little bit better. Gomez still beats him. Salah with an outrageous switch of play, which we are going to get to. Again, if we're going to do this, it's, it's got to it's gotta happen now. At this point, we are lumping it forward, but that is as, as instructed. All right, then. Sometimes you won't win, and that was one of these games. The first time I've been humbled in an episode uh, by Liverpool. They won't win the league this season, which is, you know, okay with me. Um... But yeah, that wasn't great. I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. We've, we, I'm, I'm expecting a lot better from these boys. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk to the press here. I'm too upset. All right, I'm not going to let that ruin my mood too much. Let me know. Comment section. I'm always, I'm always looking to learn. What would you have done differently in that game? Or is it? Am I right in thinking that is just one of them? I don't know. They got some early goals. We were always on an uphill battle. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's tough to beat Liverpool <laughs> unless you're Manchester City. Then it's, then it's easy. I've got a concern. As um, I'm going to try and motivate the boys with a meeting. Every meeting I've had with the boys, actually, about the title, they've responded really well every single time. Ordinarily, these meetings go quite poorly. My concern here is that I think I think that Wolves and Newcastle might both play three at the back systems. I know both of them have done it uh, in this league. Uh, Wolves definitely did it and got a point against us. I think Newcastle did it and caused us problems. So, I don't know, did we draw with Newcastle this season or something? No, we beat them 2-0. Did, th did they play a three? Or did they that's my amount? Did they play a, th a three or did they play uh, yeah they did. They did play a three. But um yeah, two late goals for us. Thiago Silva got sent off. Like it wasn't that convincing in terms of actually, I say that. Newcastle didn't really do anything. Alright, Newcastle, this is the game then. Uh win this and we will have won the title as takeover talks happening here at Chelsea. Really? Alright then, I'm gonna go. Uh, full strength. This side will probably be the side. Hang on, Ben Chilwell. Now a full strength. Um, this side will probably be the side that faces Atalanta. I'm hoping we get the title wrapped up right here, right now. And actually, I say this might be the side that wraps it up. I'm going to probably take out Pulisic here and play Orsic, who has just been, or well, Orsic, who's just been a better player for me this year, I feel like. So, yeah, we'll make the move. Mason Mount can do with the rest. Not today, Mason. Not today. I right, will Newcastle as well play this three at the back system. And um, if they do, will we have to adapt or will this just be, you know, they're not a very good side. Will this be cruise control? Philip Koku is their manager. That's not a three. That's more than three. That is, the, okay, viewers, that is a five and a four and a one. Okay. Again, we need to win it to win the league. Um, like, we don't match up well against this type of defensive play. You would hope that it's going to be very difficult for Newcastle to do anything themselves as Mason Mount on the ball. That is going to be a ball that causes them problems. Timo Werner is in. Shout out to Mason Mount, who... And, also, and if there are any of them watching, then I've got to be quiet. But in future streamer showdowns, if it's Premier League-based, I will be always picking Mason Mount. I have fallen in love with Mason Mount on Football Manager this year. Absolutely brilliant. That pass there is just one of the reasons why. He is oh so good. So I guess Silver picked up a book in. Um, 
I was, he was sent off again last time we played Newcastle. Don't do it again, please, Thiago. Long throw. We played him by Ben Chilwell. Uh, actually, good short to Mount. Smart plays. Lays it off to Orsic. Oh, it should have been a goal. Mount's there. Back across. <sighs> Could have scored then. Another long throw. Well, that's not a long throw. He winds up for the long throw, then plays it short. We've just seen that nearly work. And this time it has worked. Playing it a short to Mount, working it neatly, onto the edge of the box for a shot. And uh, yeah, we saw it not work. And then we saw it did work. Uh, no one picking up Mason Mount. He's a, he's a bold move. Kovacic just lays it off. And then uh, first time finish. Lovely finish as well. 2-0. This looks like the title might be coming to Stamford Bridge. Zuma's is giving it away. Callum Wilson. Why did I say anything? They hit the post. We're okay because everything's fine. It's just so hard to get close to their penalty area when you play a team that play this. I think I think that's been our issue, really. Like, the ball from Mount is just a simple ball over the top. The goal we've had from a throw-in, like, it's already set quite deep in their, their penalty area. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is something like... Maybe one of my teams in the future will be a three-at-the-back system in the same mould that, that we've faced in this series. And, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how I can apply it to different teams or if there are teams out there that it would really suit. And this, this is what, like, this series, ultimately, for me, and hopefully... Hopefully throughout this, you have felt a little bit like you've learned something, right? We've had a game against Liverpool just now where I don't know what I could have done. Again, that's where there's still things for me to learn. And hopefully by the end of this series, which hopefully you've noticed I'm taking a lot more seriously, but having a lot of fun with and talking through a lot of the technical elements of the game and hopefully showing that I know a little bit more about Football Manager than I sometimes let on, or even not just football manager, football in general. I feel like it's been a lot of fun talking about the way that how teams can play and adapt to the way other teams are playing. Um but yeah, it's going to be fun to see how I can take other tactics and other systems and build them into my own tactics, not just in this series, but in other saves that I have. And even into future games, right? Usually those skills are transferable. And I've spent a lot of the last few years providing a lot of, hopefully, entertaining content. But there is this side of me, I think I mentioned it in like episode one or two, that is sort of hidden away that cares about the intricacies of football. Um, not so much against New uh, Newcastle here, where I've made no changes. The boys are playing really well. Um, I'm going to take Thiago Silva off for Tamori, just so he doesn't get sent off again. And it looks like, quite understated here, we are going to win the title official. Hang on. <laughs> Some things in my series might not ever change. As uh, Longstaff, to St. Maximin, to Callum Wilson, Mendy with a brilliant save. I mean, would Kepper have made it? That's what you've got to ask yourselves. I think Callum Wilson was offside anybody, but he still made the save, and that's why we like him. Uh, she wants to go another throw. This time does go a little bit longer. Tomori's going to try and flick it on. Can't quite do it. Up to Callum Wilson. Hatterbor. That's another reason. Not really talked about Hatterbor's aerial ability. I think I mentioned it when we signed him. He's really good in the air, which makes him a real good asset from situations like that, where he's not getting bullied by centre forwards. If we score that, that would have been a lovely goal. Lovely move from the boys, all intertwined. Then again, just to reiterate something I've said in previous episodes, having those inside forwards play as almost like true inside forwards and sitting a little bit narrower and not being out super wide. Werner hits the post, should have been another one there. Like you can just see, from the way the ball breaks down, we've got these four players all relatively close together. Even Orsic, who's not playing like right out in, in the wide areas, it gives so much space down these channels for wider players. Like so much space. So we'll see. We'll see if we find ourselves in those situations. Hasselbo finds the itch, who's put himself a little wider. Werner's there. Well, that time he went wide, and there was the space there, and he's punished Newcastle. I think I'm going to win the league with Chelsea and I'd love to get 100 points. So the game against Wolves, I won't cover it uh, because what I wanted to do was win the league, of course. Um, but yeah, what a season I've had. It's been so fun. Oh, I, I can't say it enough. I've had so much fun managing this Chelsea side. I hope all the do it betters go as successfully as this. I suspect there'll be some that are more difficult and sometimes, viewers, um, I won't be able to do it better. So, <laughs> so just hang on to your hats. Um, I mentioned it last episode. I'll mention it again this one. Do suggest teams uh, to do for future episodes. Um, I don't know if I'll do one of these every single week, but if you've enjoyed this and you want to see more of me do this type of thing, I'll absolutely find the time because, as I've said, I really enjoy doing it. There we are then. Chelsea win the Premier League. Have you ever seen me celebrate a Premier League title quite so calmly? I guess I knew it would be coming our way. Um, I skipped all the messages and everything. Like The board are very happy. Of course they are. Uh, there it is. Look. There's, there's it officially, the win that we had. Uh, I'll play Wolves. Then we'll come back. We'll do the Europa League game against Atalanta. Um, I'll, I'll, of course, let you know what happened in the Wolves game. If they play that three at the back. And if we can get to 100 points. I'll see you in a minute. Okay then, gang. Good 
news. We did it. We could call it the 100-point series of Chelsea. Um, yeah, look, Lampard's got a lot of time left in his managerial career. Maybe not so much at Chelsea. Who knows? He might be back there one day. They've got a history of that. Um, but we've done it. 100 points. We've beaten Wolves 2-0. Uh, it's ended at, at full-time. Two goals that were just... One was corner and the other one was just a ball that was in behind. Played a sort of diagonal from Hudson-Odoi to Pulisic. Um, that seems to be the way to get around that. I just noticed that Arsenal have sucked Mikel Arteta. That's... It's a little bit sad. Uh, right then, Atalanta in three days' time, of course. We're playing a very tight schedule, the way that everything has been sorted out. Um, we played a pretty rotated 11. Either, either way, I'm going to rest all... The, in fact, I'm going to rest the whole squad before this Atalanta game. Um, I assume we have to travel for it as well. But we're going to rest all the boys up. They're going to get a full day off before we play uh, the Italian side. I don't know where they finished in the league. I don't actually think... Uh, maybe I did. I'm not sure I even loaded Serie A. No. Uh, all we know is, okay, well, have they finished third? It's not entirely clear. Uh, League-wise, though, I can see that Alejandro Gomez uh, has had a good season with a lot of assists. So has uh, Illich and uh, Zapata has had an absolutely fantastic season. He is going to be the man to look out for. Oh, I just got the achievement as well. The boss. This, this is a great series. Oh, Wolves have sat their manager. That's my fault. Um, this is a great series for achievements. I've got a lot of football manager achievements uh, while doing this. Mendy got second in Golden Glove. Um, manager of the year. I will say, uh, based on the Manager of the Month awards, if I didn't get this this year, I'd have been a little bit disgusted. Um, I think I'll get it for May as well. I hope, at least. But that was six in a row. It may well end up being seven uh, by the time it gets to the end of May. And Team of the Year, Werner's in there. Uh, Ziyech, Sergio Silva, Mendy, of course, uh, Chilwell and Pulisic. Actually, Mendy ends up in Team of the Year but didn't get Golden Glove. That is ridiculous. Is Golden Glove strictly clean sheets? It might be. Anyway, you can see there, uh, 24 goals conceded by Edison. Uh, 23 clean sheets. Very, very impressive. Um, how many did Mendy got? Oh, 20 and 19. So, uh, still really, really good, though. Goodness me. 33 games, 19 clean sheets. What a man. This is a joke, isn't it, really? Like, Orsic and Hatterbor are both unhappy that I didn't play them in their preferred tactical roles as fullbacks or wingers, I assume. Like, just not now, boys. I want to be able to say... Like, I'm going to back down and apologise, but I want to be able to say, we've won the league, you idiots. Very annoying, but what are you going to do? Right, uh, here it comes then, Europa League uh, game. As uh, Sammy Kadira gets an extra year as well. It's a big wage. Uh, I just realised I've played him in that final game, and that's not activated another year on his contract. <laughs> it's 140 grand a week. I wouldn't want to be manager the next season, having to deal with that. Um, but no, he's, he's, a, he's a good lad around the place. I think that's the key thing. Right, it's not too far away. It's on the Wednesday. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer. Let's hold a team meeting for this one about the upcoming cup final. I'm going to tell them I want to win it, right? We were in the Champions League. We dropped down to the Europa League. It should be a game that we're winning. Um, saying that, I'm pretty sure they would have done the same thing, right? They started in the Champions League. Yeah, we're, we're not to have a group with PSG and Dortmund. Kind of acceptable. Uh, lost to Bruges, lost to Napoli, lost to Reims, and have still made it to the final, beating Salzburg in the semi-final. Their run has been, I would say... I would say a touch e easier than ours. We played, what, Milan in ours. Luda is quite simple. But Arsenal and Milan are, are no no easy games, I, I dare say. Um, for this one, then, we're going to look at their tactic. We're going to try and figure out if we should change anything. I think the likelihood of, of us doing that is pretty unlikely. Um, let's just go to them here. They are playing... Oh, I'm scared now. Playing an Italian team that play this system. Um, we've just beaten Wolves that also play it. It's pretty good practice. Again, we played Newcastle before that. I guess it's weird, isn't it, how Football Manager does that? We've played two games there that are really important. Rhys James is unavailable and in, on international duty already. Today. Now. Very annoying. Um, fortunately for us, he wouldn't have started. Hatterbor would start anyway. I can probably, at this point, quick pick this team. And it will go nearly, not quite, nearly to what I want. Um, again, right back. Where is he? Where's Hatterbor? Get him in the team. Despite the fact he's not happy about his role, for whatever reason. Um... Do you know what I'm looking at this? And there's a few things that I would definitely change. Now that I realise the quick my assistant has not agreed, and this is why rarely this season have I even used quick pick. I've definitely been a man that has rotated on a lot of a lot of uh, situations. So here we are then. Uh, who's missing out? No one. We've got a full bench of twelve, which is really quite helpful. Um, right, team wise, Mendy in goal, Hatterbor, Zuma, Christiansen. No, 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 no. Thiago Silva. Sorry, this is not. My, I should never have quick picked for you. That's what we've learned from this. Don't quick pick. Do it yourself. Uh, Chilwell, Kovacic, Kante, Zayic, Mount, Pulisic, Werner up front. And um, yeah, I've got a lot of confidence in these boys. Tammy Abraham can see himself a little bit unlucky here, but um, yeah, Werner has been in decent form second half of the season, so we're going to get him in there. 
Started the season really slow. We didn't even play him that much, really. As uh, the Atalanta bench is very short of players. And Malinowski, who is a really good player, on the bench for them. I'm glad he's not starting. All right, stopping Zapata. I think they're going to be a counter-attacking side. Um, I think an early goal for us would be huge. The way they're going to set up, I think, they've like, got quite a lot of pace on the break. Alejandro Gomez is really good. He's a player I've loved on Football Manager for many, many, many years. Um, I did a save with Palmer years ago. He, he was a key part of that. He and Messi together. It was wonderful. Right. Here we are then. Uh, first 10 minutes have been very, very quiet. We are going to keep an eye on how things go. I'm actually going to bring up the visualizer just at the start of this. You can see it's... it's Balancing out pretty evenly. I should say as well, we are in the pink, I think. Is that right? Yeah, we are. As Chilwell goes for a long throw, doesn't go short to Mount this time. Zuma picks up the loose ball, finds the edge. Great pass. Mount It's so good. It's such a good run from Mason Mount, by the way. And I think the key thing there with Mount, and it's not really something like we've not really talked about this midfield role too much, having on attacking allows him to do exactly that. You play him on support, he's waiting to play the pass. You play him on attacking, he's going to make that sort of run. And uh, what a run it was. Great pass as well from ZH. I'm assuming it's on side. Um, I hope it's on side. There wasn't too much to garner really from the visualizer uh, this early on, but we will absolutely take the goal. You can see Mount just makes that run. In, in situations like that, it's like having two strikers, which is why I like him so much in that role. To me, that is indicative of his work rate. Um, good. To get a goal against the three at the back system, hopefully means at some point they might consider changing it. And with that in mind, we'll keep an eye on what they play and the performances throughout their side. They might equalize immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, they're back, viewers. They are back. Uh, Gomez, it seems to be from here. This is playing an, an attacking midfield role. Oh, it's the challenge there from Kurt Zuma. Deary me. Made to look an absolute fool. Uh, Friulua. Is it Fri Fri Friula? Friula? Uh, with the goal. And uh, they're really happy. There's probably well, the shout gone out there that's done them really well. I'm going to try and fire my boys up after going. 1-0 up, we're now behind, and that's at the side. It's got some really like nice players in it, players that we need to be ready for. Zuma that time reacts really well, and now can we break? Mount racing forward, he's got Pulisic on that side, who we know has got a lot, a lot of pace. He's done that too often for me. That's that's kind of why I like Orsic ahead of him, Orsic. Orsic, it's definitely Orsic. I'm aware, I say Orsic every time for reasons unknown, unless I've been saying it right the whole time, and... Yeah, I don't know, you know. Pull a six on it as he plays the ball into Werner. Oh, tell you what. That's why Timo Werner is in the side. Lurking on the last man. Did it against Liverpool in a game which we were wholly unsuccessful and did it there really, really well. We'll see it again. Like Atalanta trying to play their way out. It's a long ball up. Sarko Silva, even at the tender age of 36, 37. Pull a six with a lovely incisive pass. Again, like you, you look at where these boys finish, right? The, I know he's celebrating a goal there, but these lot are so close together. And even the midfield roles that ordinarily are quite deep, like Kante's playing slightly deeper than Kovacic, we are just so much, we're such a unit playing like this. And when you look at it on paper, like if you say, so when you look at it, we've looked at this a hundred times, it looks quite spread out. But the reality is when you're attacking, your full backs are driving up and down here. Your, your central midfielders are pushing forward in support. And when you're playing a gegenpress press style, it is of course, pressing from the front, being eager to win the ball back and working off that is so vital. One thing I'll say, like if I have to, we'll sort of do some summary, summary thoughts here. Is Kurt Zuma front post? You love to see it. Mason Mount set pieces are really good, and that from Zuma, exceptional. Is that? And I, we, again, we may have touched this on a previous, touched on this in the previous episode. But you need a certain type of player to play this. If I'd have stuck with players like Azpilicueta and Giroud as two players that would have had to be a part of this system, and I've got Reese James, but Azpilicueta would have played a lot more had I not bought Hatterborn. That was why. I bought in a right back. Um, that might be a decision that some of you didn't agree with at the time, but now hopefully you can see that we had to buy players that fit the system and allowed us to play in this fashion, right? And and how, and, and also, the reason players like Kadira were brought in wasn't so much because I thought I'd start him. I just knew that if players like Kante or Jorginho or Kovacic needed a rest, I needed a quality player with a lot of experience to come in and just fill the gap and not make us... Like considerably weaker, we are going to be slightly weaker when you bring in someone that's not a starter. Of course, you are. That's the, that's the nature of the, of the sport, almost. But to have someone come in with such quality and almost like he, he's a very different player to Kante and to Kovacic. He's a bit more defensive minded, but at the same time, like he's not particularly quick. He's not particularly creative. I'm sort of slagging off Kadira here, but it was the right sort of signing for this side. And Belotti is sort of 
the similar thing to right back, right? If we didn't have Belotti, occasionally we would have had to play Giroud and that would have changed everything about how we set up. So having the right players, absolutely crucial when you're setting up for a system. And that's something that you need to analyse when you first start a new save. And don't try... like so, so if you've got a team that aren't set up to play gig and press, they're not highly energetic. That could have gone badly. I say all of this, right? I've just I've just talked my way through a second half. I'm going to make a couple of changes. Also, it's just going to come in. Uh, Tammy is going to play as well. I think he deserves it. And... Sammy Kadira is going to come in for a girl I can say for the final five minutes. Um, if they come back now, I will feel slightly sick as Atalanta are really pushing for this. Werner gets one off the ball. But I think, it sounds obvious, but it, I think it is something that sometimes you've used things in other systems. I think that's where I sometimes go wrong, is that I use systems with teams and I think, oh, that will work with any team. And actually... If you're building a team to play a certain way, those players have to suit that, as that is a brilliant save from Mendy, by the way. Um and that's what we did really well. We basically picked a squad or created a squad that could play gig and press in two slightly different ways, but was equally effective in both. As Kurt Zuma is going to hopefully get us that that double. Now, not quite a treble, but a really good double. Did well in the League Cup, got to the semi-finals, only beaten by City and to lose to Liverpool in the FA Cup final is no disgrace. There's one disappointment from this season. It's that I'm in the Europa League final and not in the latter stages of the Champions League as that, my friends, is how you do it better. You love to see it. We conclude then this season some really top performances. Um, I will, of course, make this tactic available uh, for those that want it. I don't know how I'll have done that. It'll either be like a Steam Workshop link or whatever else. Uh, I'll leave that in the description down below, as well as my squad view, which a few of you um, have asked me about on streams and things like this. That is also available to download. Uh, the one change from this, from a previous squad view of mine, is that the last match ratings are on it. Um, to either install that yourself or then resave it. Or, uh, yeah, download this one again. Links will be in the description on episode five. So, yeah, in the description box. Uh, again, said it earlier on, if you've enjoyed this series, please drop a like on it. Leave suggestions for who you'd like to see me do it with more. And if you'd like to see me talk about football and football manager in this way, let me know because it <laughs> makes me feel good about myself. That's the reality of it. Uh, I'll see you again very, very soon then, team. Thank you for watching and goodbye. All right, I guess I've got to start doing tutorial videos now. Fair enough.